my dear sisters and brothers in Christ in today's gospel Jesus commands us to love one another because God has loved us through Jesus Jesus is the incarnation of God's love for humanity and all those who follow the way of Jesus have to become the reflections of that love in today's world It means that the Christian love has the face of Jesus. The gospel writers tell us the story of many people who met Jesus in his earthly ministry. After the encounter with the Lord, their lives have completely changed. This is what Christian love does. Whenever someone meets a person with this special love they are transformed by his incarnation Jesus has become our friend in the most complete way imaginable it is by giving his life on the cross for us he expressed his love for us his life with the heavenly father was so intimate and he shared with us something precious he wants to draw us into that relationship so that we can have a share in this special love this is a gift he will never take back no matter what happens in our life Just as a parent loves each child differently but equally Jesus loves each one of us differently but equally His friendship with us is by our own unique identity We follow Christ which means that we have personally met him in our life as his friends we all have a chance to experience his love in various ways god's love has made us into a new creation now we do what jesus did love one another as he has loved us It is through love Jesus accomplished his mission and rested by his father. He loved us radically and unconditionally and set the world and our hearts with the flame of God's love. As the disciples of Christ, we also are the missionaries and messengers of Christian love. Today, we must live the Christian life realizing how much god loves us and how much we need to love god and our neighbor christ calls us to love one another because all only lives motivated by love have meaning christian love has the power to transform bad into good evil into virtue and darkness into light but this love has to be extravagant and unconditional we see a glimpse of this kind of love in the famous fairy tale story of beauty and the beast when bella sees that the beast is grieving and is at the point of death because of his love for her she comes back to him bella's sudden expression of her unconditional love for the beast transforms the beast into a beautiful prince we may meet many people who represent the beast daily each day god gives us opportunities to turn many beasts into beautiful princes we may also allow jesus love to transform 
if any beast is hiding inside us. Love has that power and we should not hesitate to use it for creating God's kingdom on earth. When we begin to love Jesus, then we begin to love the things and people he loves. The world we live in seems to be filled with hatred than love because of war, terrorism and many other problems created by human beings. The only answer to solving these problems is to implement the commandment of Jesus. He says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Let us try to follow Jesus through loving God and our fellow human beings. Jesus is the face of God's love and we need to have the face of Jesus to show the world how much God loves every one of us. <laughs>